Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get Zoom breakout rooms and a mini tutorial on how to use Zoom breakout rooms. I hope you guys like today's video and if you guys do consider subscribing to my channel and turn on post notifications so you never miss out on my videos. Let's get into it. As you can see I'm on my Zoom account and I have Dynamic D subscribe and sub. So basically, they're telling you to subscribe and also drop a like on the video. So I am this guy and this is my own meeting. And as you can see, I have breakout rooms. Now to activate breakout rooms, I'm going to be showing you how to get them. So a little thing first. So to access Zoom breakout rooms and have your personal meeting room, you need to create a Zoom account. Zoom accounts are free to get. And basically in the free trial, you get forty minute a 40 minute meeting. You can keep on doing that, but your meetings will be only 40 minutes. So if you could do 40 minutes, then you're going to have to close the meeting, restart it, okay? And whatever settings you apply from the Zoom website will stay permanent on the uh, your personal meet, uh, meeting room, but you can change. So, yeah. And also, here's a reminder. Um, you guys, if you guys haven't seen my uh, how to use Zoom tutorial, I highly suggest doing that and then watch this one because I do not mention how to use breakout rooms in that tutorial. So anyway, let's get into it. I'm just going to go to my Google and I have my settings. Now you're going to have to scroll down to find breakout rooms. Or if you press Control F, which will allow you to find, just type breakout and you'll see here. So it's in, in meeting advanced, okay? And as you can see, breakout room. Allow host to split meeting participants into separate smaller rooms. Boom. Turn that on, turn that on, and then press save, and then you're good to go. It's really easy. And basically around these sections are basically settings like Auto answer or allow participants meeting reactions. Um, whiteboard. So it's basically um, it's basically uh like just settings that you want permanent. Also, breakout rooms can be accessed with co-host. So if you have the setting to allow co-host, basically, uh, your co-host can assign breakout rooms. So check that. So I'm gonna press on breakout rooms and I'm gonna it's gonna tell me. How many breakout rooms I want to create. So I want to create two because I have two other participants. Now you can choose three options. Either assign manually, assign automatically, and let participants choose here. If you're a teacher and you're watching this video, I highly recommend choosing the first two options. So assign automatically will then show you how many participants will be in the room. Assign manually, okay, and let participants choose room. So I'm going to show assign manually and create. So it's going to show me two rooms, okay? So I need to assign and then choose a participant. So I assign that, and over here I assign subscribe. Okay? Oops. Okay? So as you can see, I have sub in one and subscribe in another. You can also rename your meeting. So you can name it one and two. If you want to create another room, add a room. If you want to recreate, recreate. And if you want to select more options, press options. Okay, so the first part, uh, option is basically allowing participants to choose their room. You don't want to turn that on. Allow participants to return to the main, meeting, main session at any time. Basically, that means that let's say the meeting is 10 minutes long. Okay, you need to stay in the breakout rooms for 10 minutes. The, the members of the meeting can return at any time. But if you have that sitting off, they have to stay in the meeting for the whole 15 seconds, the 15 minutes, or when you close the meeting. Okay? Automatically move all assigned participants into breakout rooms. I highly suggest recommend I highly recommend choosing that set because basically every time you open a breakout room, the participant is going to get a notification, basically a lot saying you have been invited to join breakout room three. Okay, they can either press join now or join or later. If you want them to directly go in without you without them choosing, turn on this setting. Okay. Breakout rooms close automatically after, that's basically the time limit. Notify me when time is up. Yes, countdown. Countdown after closing breakout room is basically your wrap up time. So you get 15 seconds to wrap it up. I'm going to make that down to 10. And then you press done. And then once you press open all rooms, it'll tell you all breakout participants have been invited and each of the members have gone. Okay. 
So, I will just close that. So, as you can see, I'm here. Now, I can broadcast messages to them. So, I can broadcast... Remember... To like the video. Guys, remember, if you guys find this helpful, remember, remember to like the video and subscribe. So, broadcast. So, each participant will get a notification. Another cool thing is... I'm going to go on one of my other devices, and I'm going to ask for help. Oh, subscribe, and two, ask for help. And basically, this is the notification they will get when they join a breakout room. It'll instead say, you invited to join a breakout room. Uh, I don't want to help you, so later. You can also join their meetings without them letting you know. So if you want to pop in, pop out. Uh, you can also, if I go to the chat, you won't be able to message them through here. You'll have to broadcast a message to everyone. Or if you join. And yeah, so that's basically it. I hope you guys liked today's video. And if you did, I highly recommend subscribing to my channel. And turn on post notifications. So you never miss out my videos. If you guys found this helpful, comment down below. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.